All right, first thing you got, we're gonna roast these birds. All right, first thing we gotta talk about is, how's this bird laying? Right? <laughs> the way they're packaged, they're wrapped up, they're often like crunched together, whatever. Sometimes even the wishbones are broken. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the hips, we're gonna start stretching them. Were they available? No, it was Chef Gold. Yeah, he's doing um, Garmage. So we're basically at the mercy of the uh, other kitchen. So once that's all stretched out, Give him a little stretch. You see he's kind of jazzercising. Um, once he's all done, you're gonna remove the fat that's down here in the cavity. You guys already did that, but you can grab that and just pull that out with your fingers. It's gone. Next thing I want you to do is, believe it or not, I like to take the wishbone out before I roast a whole bird. Why do you think I even bother? Why would I take the wishbone out? Because it's tradition to take it out of the cooked bird, right? And then save it and make a wish. Well, why would I take it out? Stuffing with like things. not for stuffing. What's up? Chicken. Well, I would. I you certainly never serve it to the customer. You would take it out. Carving. When you're carving, look how much breast is underneath that wishbone. The wishbone is the collarbone of the chicken. I can feel it right here. Anyone want to feel it? Anyone touch it? It's not gonna bite me. Feel it? It's the collarbone, right? Anyone else need to feel the collarbone? It's right there, just like your collarbone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make an insertion below and above each side that you feel. So right there below, gonna make another feel, another insertion above. Right there, below, feel it again, so I know where it is, and above. Now what that does is it allows me, I'm gonna get my thumbs in there, I'm gonna to start to push the bone off of the meat. See how I did that? Push the bone off of the meat. Now, a lot of times the way your chickens are packed, they're broken. I can feel his wishbone is broken right here on the left. A lot of times they're broken, maybe five out of six times, Some. Okay, maybe three out of five times. They're broken. And so you got to pull them out in two pieces. But ideally, you get it in one and you pull it like a hinge. But the one side that's good, I'm going to stick my finger underneath where it connects to the keel bone, the chest plate. I'm going to reach underneath and I'm going to pull it out like a lever. And so this side's out. The other side, which is broken, I'm going to pull out. Now, if this thing breaks a lot of times on you as you take it out, you need to get all the pieces out. It's the sharpest bones in the bird. Okay? But that's all done now. The next thing I, I like to do is here's your, chur your chicken wing. I'm going to cut right where his bicep is. You see that bicep? I'm gonna cut right along that bicep with the knife. I'm gonna go all the way around the wing like this. Once I get to the other side, I'm gonna bend that backwards. You ever see a kung fu movie where they break the arm of the bad guy or whatever? So you're gonna break his arm and pull it right off. You see how that comes out clean? Okay. But you have to do it completely in reverse. So again, bicep. Right across the bicep. I'm not cutting in the joint because I want to French this a little bit. Well, I want to expose the bone. The French it would be to like, you know, trim the edge of the bone and all that stuff. Okay. Right? Sounded awesome. Okay. Chicken tips. What I like to do is when you roast these and you rub them with seasoning, rub the wings too. Roast the wings with it and while the bird's halfway done, the wings are done. You can taste them and see if you had enough salt on your rub or if you need to add more. So they're sort of like free samples, okay? Okay, we got this bird, now we gotta tie him. Can someone start the string for me? Just pull me a piece out. Thank you. I didn't wanna contaminate the string. Okay, I'm gonna measure three lengths of the bird. One, two, three, okay? From there, I'm gonna grab the middle of the string, okay? Gonna cross the legs. This is a proper bird. Legs crossed. Okay. I'm gonna bring the string right over the knees here, over the breast, around the arms, which are now bones, and I'm gonna tie it across the back. Kind of like a bra for the bird. Okay. When I tie it, I'm going to turn my knot 90 degrees. By doing that, it doesn't slip as easy because I don't have someone holding my knot. Okay. After that, I'm just going to take this string and I'm going to tie a regular shoestring knot. Not a bow, a knot. Okay, nice and tight. Down. Okay, trim off the extra string. Somebody's knife needs a little love. Somebody's knife. After that, I'm going to flip it over. Do you think I'm done? No, look, that looks crazy. So look, you're going to take the breast and you're going to push it up where that string is and that's how you get all the torque on that string to make it tight. Okay, so I just pushed it up String went tight, got a nice bird ready for roasting. 
The next thing, this will go on that roasting pan over there with the vegetables, and it'll get roasted. When you rub seasonings on this, you have so many options. One, remember the brine we just did? You can inject a brine in here all over the place. You could rub seasoning rub all over this, dry or whatever. One seasoning rub you could do, uh, mayonnaise. You could rub mayonnaise on this. What does mayonnaise have in it? What makes mayonnaise? Eggs and what? Oil. What do eggs do when you bake them? They brown things, right? So it'll create brown. Oil creates moisture, right, on your palate. So brown and moisture comes from just the mayonnaise. And you haven't even had seasonings yet. Using mayonnaise holds a lot of seasonings. You can add mustard, you can add salt, pepper, whatever, garlic, even roasted garlic or fresh chopped garlic for that. Rub it all over the bird. You can also peel this skin back and rub it in there and then get all kinds of good stuff. You can put orange peels in there, lemon peels. You can cut little slits in here and stuff things inside the legs. You can put anything in there, okay? Pretty cool, right? That's your bird. Um, any questions on that so far? Okay, the next thing. In the top of my tap or in that tap where it's open, do you see the hooks? Could you grab me one? Every one of you has to know how to tie a bird like this for your practical, okay? Thank you. Set that down. One thing we like to do in the class for fun is we're going to be tying these chickens like this. You just tie the legs. This is so you can actually roast this in the air. So you tie the legs like so. Okay. You take some string and you tie one string around the breast, holding the wings together. Like so. He's got like a broken hip, you see that? He had a rough ending. Okay, after that, you can actually hook this in the oven and roast it in the air, okay? We're gonna do that in here. On your practical, you can't do that because I need to see you trust normally, but this is an option during the class. So these can be injected, they can be rubbed with anything, and then roasted in the air. They look awesome. You line them up, you take Instagram photos. <laughs> Any questions on the bird? No questions. Um, we're going to do the pork next. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll show you how to do it.